having posted its half-year financial statement with a revenue of 84.4 billion naira last week, the need to feed investors with more information about its future plans becomes necessary. This informs the interaction between the management of Forte Oil and the broker-dealer community of the Nigerian Stock Exchange. We're particularly pleased with the company's performance as it further confirms our belief that in spite of the several policy and economic challenges, our listed companies remain well run and continue to contribute towards the nation's development. Following a presentation on the healthy state of the company, the chief executive, Mr. Aki Akifemiwa, explains the plans to grow market dominance from 14% to 20%. We will continue to pursue um, marketing drives and initiatives and, I mean, with respect to high margin products, uh, lubricants, so that we can grow our gross margin. Um, again, the LPG business, we will continue with the level of being aggressive that we have at the moment. The presentation is followed by a question and answer session where the investments in the power subsidiary was explained. We are on track um, to hit our PBT of 11 billion. Um, yes, now we have about uh, 4.2 at the group level, and this is this has been impacted because of the major overhaul uh, of the of the Gregu power plant. With respect to borrowing, you mentioned that borrowing grew by five billion. That is correct. However, the growth of five billion relates to our power business. We embarked on a major overhaul last year, and uh, we just finalised it, which was way below the. Uh, market, market costs. With strategies like this in place to weather the storm during economic recession, a company like Forte Oil can only continue to demonstrate resilience in its balance sheet.